as you can see that there are still lots of buds that waiting for opening also you can see there are a lot of new shoots that are coming out from the base i'll need to take care of these new shoots after uh, it finishes its first uh, flash of bloom it is a really big one uh, i bought it last year it didn't bloom well it blooms only like half bloomed only once with one to two flowers last year since it's still so young but starting this year it grows like crazy with lots of new shoes and the old shoes continuously growing longer and longer so i just trained it on a relatively short trolley and makes it looks like a flower wall it definitely need more training I'll do it after its first flash of bloom. I'll also take care of some of the new shoots that's coming out. I'll just uh, remove at least half of them and keep the ones that are long and strong so that it will produce more blooms in the next flush. So let me move to closer to the flowers to give you a look. So it's not big. I would say it's only um, three to four inches big, the flowers, but it's extremely fragrant. That's what I like about this rose. to be the end of its blooming cycle. So this one. It's easier than another another branch that's that trend vertically towards a different direction. I'll take a video later regarding this one. It's a good one as well. Okay, so go back to Zafran Jubin. Another advantage of this rose is it doesn't have thorn. So let me show you. Its branch is really smooth with no thorns at all. So good advantage because because I mean when you are um, like maintain your rose plant it makes the work a lot easier if this rose have no thorns at all you won't get hurt and also if you have small children at home the rose won't hurt the children as well because it doesn't have thorn so that's a good advantage uh, another advantage is uh, it keeps its leaves even during the winter although it doesn't have new shoots it like doesn't grow during the winter time but it it does keep its leaves so it's green all winter and it's not bare um, well I am in 7b so I'm in a relatively warmer uh, climate that might also be the reason 